This is a poem about the djembe. The djembe, spelt D-J-E-M-B-E, is the classic West African hand drum. It has a goatskin head and is tuned by means of adjusting the tension of the ropes that attach to the drum head. The body is wood, hollowed out. The weight depends on the wood and it's about three feet tall on average. The Song of the Djembe A gentle young drummer, a master of djembe, decided to seek the Mokele Mbembe, a deep jungle beast of great wisdom and power that delights in the nectar of one single flower. He was after some answers to planet-sized questions and any additional tips or suggestions that might issue forth from a being of power that delights in the nectar of one single flower. Ah yes, the flower, the key to it all, a slim fluting trumpet, magenta and small. There was one thing, however, that set it apart, this blossom that dwelt in the jungle's dark heart, for that cherished delight of Mokele Mbembe would only give bloom to the song of the djembe. He'd heard all the theories, the stories and more. The creature he sought was a small dinosaur. He was most keen to witness a dinosaur drink from a delicate flower. It tickled his thinking. And as for the flower, he knew what he knew. He knew what it looked like. He knew where it grew. So he rolled back his shoulders and he loosened his mouth. He hefted his djembe and he headed off south. After many weeks journey, he came to the place, a dim jungle clearing, a magical space. He sat down with the djembe and tightened its ropes, gave breath to his palms as he gathered his hopes. He knew all the rhythms, many since birth. His mother had drummed as he grew in her girth. He drummed out the makru, the cuckoo, the kassa, then a summoning rhythm he'd learned in Kinshasa that rang like a bell through the ebony gloom and boomed deep and down to the Mother Earth's womb. Okapi and rhino, gorillas and birds all gathered to hark to his summoning words. And down in the womb, the great tribe, Kontombili, those tiny old men who were there, but not really, they rose up from the earth, Oh yes, even they, and circled to hear what his djembe did say. From a fruit-laden thicket came huge russet hogs. Snakes poured forth lissom and smooth from their logs. And there, in the midst of the great forest tribes, in front of the drummer, his drum and its vibes, the flower emerged, and the serried hordes saw and on seeing they shook with a wonder and awe that soon became fear, for the song of the djembe would entice the approach of Mokele Mbembe. A large mossy creature with long golden teeth strode up to the man with enraged disbelief. Desist from your rhythm, sir, play it no more. Then a mighty sound shuddered the dark forest floor. Like smoke on the breeze, the tribes melted away, and alone in the clearing, the man ceased to play. He bit down on his fear, but he couldn't quite swallow, as a silence stretched taut in the dark jungle hollow. And then it arrived, the Mokele Mbembe, and it took in the flower, the man and his djembe. As our fellow gazed back, all those planet-sized questions and any additional tips or suggestions that might issue forth from a being of power that delights in the nectar of one single flower, they all fell from his mind, and he sat there quite dumb, so he did what came natural and beat on his drum. He's still there to this day, that man and his djembe, and delights to the dance of Mokele Mbembe.